Duncan Robinson's an anomaly in the world of basketball. He's a man that wasn't considered good enough to land a position in a Division I or II college, instead attending the Williams College in Massachusetts, which is a Division III college. Afterwards, he moved to Michigan, where he found himself undrafted and seemingly unwanted. So the question is... How did a Division III player manage to become one of the top 100 basketball league players in the world? In today's video, we'll take a look at the rise of Duncan Robinson. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell, so that way you'll never miss a future video. The Rise of Duncan Robinson before the NBA season was suspended as a result of the coronavirus pandemic, the Miami Heat were carving out a surprising season. Through 65 games, the Heat had earned themselves a 41-24 record. Though this success has been largely credited to star Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo's breakout season, another huge factor was the strong play of forward Duncan Robinson. Many people don't know much about this second-year player who has seemingly appeared out of nowhere and surprised everyone in the industry. Though many people can appreciate him now, things were much different when he first set out to accomplish his dream of playing for the NBA, a reality that was extremely unlikely. College Days Robinson's college career was a roller coaster. He spent his freshman year playing for Williams College, which is a Division III team. On average, during those early days, Robinson would get 17.1 points and 6.5 rebounds in 34.7 minutes per game. He's credited to have carried the Division III team all the way to the 2014 NCAA Men's Division III Championship game, but the team was unable to seal the win, losing it by just two points. During the summer of that year, Robinson caught the interest of a number of Division I college teams, eventually transferring to Michigan to follow better prospects. Despite his high hopes, though, he was left disappointed during his three years after playing with the Wolverines as he started as a sophomore and spent most of his junior year on the bench. He started again in his senior year, only to find himself on the bench once again. For many, this would have been the final straw for pursuing the unlikely dream but Robinson refused to quit. Over the next three years he spent with Michigan, he averaged 9.3 points and 2.5 rebounds per game while shooting 45.5% from the field and 41.9% from three-point territory. He struggled to keep himself relevant within the college team, let alone professional prospects, but all of that was about to change. The unlikely path to the NBA now, there are many stories of how players entered the NBA, but being invited to an NBA summer league, much less taking a spot on the roster, is incredibly unlikely. Starting out in a Division III college and then getting benched in the late Division I team didn't mean that he was untalented, but would have more than likely led him across seas than towards the NBA. In fact, Duncan Robinson is the first Division III player in history to be given a Division I scholarship. If anything, it showed the incredible potential that others saw in him. Once he left Williams College, he joined the Wolverines. Though he did play during the three years, he never became the star player and often found himself benched. During his time in Michigan, he played with future NBA players such as Derek Walton Jr., Karis LeVert and DJ Wilson. By his last season, however, he'd become the fifth most important player on the team alongside Muhammad Ali Abdul Rahman, Xavier Simpson, Charles Matthews and Mo Wagner, who later got drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers. In 2018, Robinson was named the 2018 Big Ten Sixth Man of the Year, though this award was unlikely to help him out with his goal of attracting the NBA, as a sixth man doesn't usually equate to NBA potential. So how did Robinson get an invite to Miami's Summer League team? Well, it turns out that Miami Heat's head coach Eric Spolstra had been paying close attention to the player and called him up directly. The Heat weren't the only ones showing interest in the young player, as the Los Angeles Lakers and a couple of other teams took notice of Robinson and offered him non-guaranteed contracts to play in their Summer League teams. After five Summer League seasons, Robinson was averaging 12.4 points and hitting 63% of his three-point lines in 25 minutes of play. After being offered a two-way contract, many were worried that Robinson would slip away to another team. But on April the 9th, 2019, the Heat signed him to a standard NBA contract, cementing the star's future in the team. Despite the unlikeliness, other division players who have managed to beat the odds and make their way to the NBA are Vern Mickelson, Jack Sigma, Terry Porter and Devin George. Just like Robinson, they achieved their place through hard work and determination. This season. 
Duncan Robinson's humble beginnings and rapid rise led to the Wall Street Journal dubbing him the most improbable player in the NBA. Despite initially coming from a Division III team, it never meant that he ever played badly, something that still rings true today. Duncan Robinson excels at the one thing most teams value the most in the current league, shooting beyond the three-point line. Before the season was suspended due to the coronavirus, the Heat forward had been creating one of the best shooting seasons ever seen, hitting 44.6% of his shots from behind the arc. What makes Robinson an extremely talented player is his incredible, consistent accuracy. Of his 9.3 average field goal attempts per game, 8.1 of them have come from the three-point range. This has allowed him to achieve a 67.4 shooting percentage that ranks him within the top 10 of the NBA. Before the season was shut down, Robinson showed he was on top form when the Heat and the Magic met on the court. He finished the game with 27 points, with every shot attempt coming from the three-point range and hitting nine shots. This ranks him with the likes of Clay Thompson, Stephen Curry, Buddy Heald and James Harden, who were the only other players to have done it. It's also worth mentioning that this was the 77th game in his career, putting him in an impressive 235 three-point shots overall. Now, this has never been achieved by any other player in such few games. To most NBA fans, Robinson has come out of nowhere. In 2018, he was mostly known as an undrafted free agent who became a summer league standout. Now, he's regarded as one of the best players in the entire league. His growth this season is perhaps the greatest example of the Heat's gift of honing talent and the ability to spot diamonds in the rough. The impact of Duncan Robinson Prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, Duncan Robinson was averaging five three-point shots per game when looking at his previous 10 games. He was well on his way to setting two records, the most three-pointers made by any player in his first two NBA seasons and the most three-pointers by a Miami Heat player within one season. Now the season's resumed, there's no doubt that Duncan Robinson will continue to carve himself a place beside the NBA's top shooters. After all, he's still new to the NBA and hasn't given a poor performance yet. The Heat have gone from missing playoffs to becoming one of the best Eastern Conference teams. Signing superstar Jimmy Butler into their ranks is arguably the biggest reason for this. Another reason could be Bam Adebayo's development into one of the best centres in the entire league. But Duncan Robinson has undoubtedly proved his worth by showcasing his endurance and shooting abilities, making him a staple in most of the Heat's lineups. Defences can't let Robinson have an inch of space, otherwise it's likely they're going to surrender three points. Also, the defensive attention he attracts on the court opens the path up for his teammates to make their way to the basket. Robinson's reactive and relentless dedication to firing from the three-point range makes him an incredible force to be reckoned with and a star player. There's no telling what the future holds for Robinson, but I'm sure that the Miami Heat hope that he stays firmly with them. Having such an accomplished three-point shooter is a rare and vital asset to have within a team, something the Heat should feel grateful to have. Would the Miami Heat be doing so well without this forward? Is there a team that you think he'd better suit? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up. If you'd like to keep up with all of our basketball content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you'll be informed every single time we upload a new video. Until next time, I'll see you on the court.